Good evening, folks. Welcome to another session of Alleviate a Date, which you happen to be on Australia's Eastern Seaboard is at 8 p.m. and for others it's all times of the day and night. Uh, but a big, big welcome wherever you are. And we're just having more people join. And um, probably just to say tonight, we've got the good news and the bad news. Uh, the bad news is that we'd advertised Natalie was going to do the session and at the last minute she was unable to do so. And the good news is you got Ruth instead. So um, <laughs> many of you all know Ruth and um, are aware that She's been uh, a big part of Alleviate and her voice is uh, one of the ones on the app uh, along with her wayward husband. And um, uh, I, I just thought tonight as, as we're starting, uh, it'd be nice just to give a thought to what's going on in Europe and Ukraine uh, and all the difficulties the people there are facing. and. Um, and I was thinking too, as I was reflecting on that myself, um, spare a thought for all the parents in Russia whose sons have been sent off to face possible death themselves or do things that um, most of us would rather not have to do. Um, it seems hard to conceive how anybody's going to win much out of what's going on over there and there's going to be a heap of suffering, I would imagine. So. Uh, in our own way, we get the opportunity, I guess, to um, activate our own compassionate hearts. And I know around the world, there'll be a lot of people praying for a good outcome and a minimum uh, of suffering through this uh, conflict and hoping that it will last a short time. Um, I'm not sure how optimistic that is, but it's, um, you know, it's a really sad situation and, um, Often from a distance, we can feel a bit powerless. Uh, but I, I, I really do feel there's something in collective thought. Uh, and it's very similar in this instance to what happens with healing. You know, next Monday, we'll have another of our healing sessions. And I think there's no doubt when a significant body of people get together uh, and direct their thought in a particular way, uh, it really can have an impact on the outcome. Uh, and so I, I think that is something we can do from a distance that we can, if you're into prayer, you can add your prayers. If you're not into prayer, you can add your good wishes. It's, it's a similar process to be blunt. Um, but, uh, you know, you can do that in a, uh, in according to whatever tradition you come from in a religious sense, or you can do it in a secular way. Uh, and we might give it some more specific attention next week in our healing session. <clears throat> but for tonight, uh, Ruth's going to lead us in the deep relaxation exercise. And as you probably know, this uh, exercise features on um, both the um, stress management and the uh, healing support uh, sections of the app. And I, I, I actually would suggest to you that it's, it's one of the strengths of, of the app uh, and the way we approach uh, helping people uh, through meditation based practices, uh, because many of these practices in the way they're taught elsewhere, don't actually give really close attention to physical relaxation. And, and having worked in this arena for decades, uh, I'm totally convinced that's an error of omission. Um, because of the mind-body connection, you know, if our minds weren't connected to our bodies, maybe it wouldn't matter so much. Uh, but I don't know if you'd like to do a simple little exercise and I can only see a few of you. So hang on, I'm going to change to gallery because I want to see those of you who've got your... Um, so 
yeah, nice to see a few more faces when I switch to gallery. And um, this is a really simple exercise that you can do to test the mind-body connection. So if you're wondering if your mind and your body's connected, what you, you might like to join me is you get your two hands up front like this, just put your two hands up front like this, and then you just place them there and you check. And most people find that in actual fact, their mind is connected to their body, their head's connected to the body, and we understand that the mind's largely focused in the body. And I can see a few of you do find that humorous. It's one of my sort of visual dad jokes. <laughs> uh, but it's actually one of my favorite things to do with um, medical audiences, um, particularly in earlier days. It's, it's not quite as funny now as it used to be because most doctors are really are convinced that the mind-body connection is a real one. I mean, I don't know how there was a time in medical history where that was thought not to be the case. but. You know, doing that 20 years ago was really quite fun. Anyway, um, that's the fact of the matter is our mind and our body are not just connected through our neck, of course, they're intimately connected through all sorts of uh, wonderful uh, biochemical and physiological me mechanisms. Um, and I think particularly because in Western countries, uh, we tend to have this really close connection between stress and physical tension through that mind-body connection. You know, when you get anxious, when you get tense, the body does actually physically tense up. And, and what happens for many people with that is that then their body actually gets used to that tension. And so in earlier days, uh, you know, right back in the 80s when I started teaching these techniques to people, I'd, I'd often be just teaching like straight meditation. And I'd ask people how they were feeling and they'd say they felt really good, really relaxed. But you'd look at them and they were you know, like they were frowning and they're tight and their shoulders are up, all this stuff. And, and, and yet they were saying they felt relaxed. And, and the basis for that was that they just got used to that. that. That sort of inbuilt tension was chronic. And it was a chronic part of the, of the sort of the, the systemic inflammation that goes with chronic stress. So if we want to break the stress cycle, then it's actually easier. It's easier. This is the, this is the big point. It's easier to learn how to relax the body as compared to relaxing the mind. Uh, most people can learn to tell their body what to do reasonably easily and it'll oblige. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've been trying to tell my mind what to do for decades and it's still pretty frisky, I can tell you. It still likes to go its own way and come up with all sorts of mischievous ideas. Uh, and, you know, I, I probably got better at watching it and regulating it over the years, but it's a wayward beast, that's for sure. Uh, whereas the body's usually pretty compliant. So when we're interested in managing stress and healing, then this is actually the easiest and most effective thing we can do, actually, is to learn how to relax the body really thoroughly and to then maintain that relaxation through the day. Because on the one hand, with the mind-body connection, when our bodies, uh, when our mind, sorry, is stressed, that circles around to tense up the body. But if we learn how to consciously and deliberately relax the body, that circles, uh, circulates around and relaxes the mind. So this mind-body connection is, is, um, is, a, is a circle and it can produce problems and it can heal them. It can fix them. So th this, this, this basic progressive muscle relaxation technique, um, I think in some circles, it's just dismissed as, seeing too ba as seeming too basic or too simple. Uh, and I would suggest to you that, I don't know what your experience of life is, but I often find it's the simple things that are most useful. Mm. Um, I suppose we've only got to think about our phones or our computers to um, 
<laughs> relate to that. You know, the more complicated they get, the more difficult they are in a way. Um, but with our body, you know, this is such this is such a direct and a reliable way to actually break the stress cycle and to lay a really good foundation for healing. And uh, yeah, so yeah. it's a great practice and um, I probably said enough as a way of introduction and I'll hand over to the beloved. Thank you, Ian. Uh, I, I wanted to add to what you were saying because uh, I've, I've had a lot of pain in my life physical pain and even recently and some of it's been actually like excruciating with a lot of fear and and um, distress in it and I can say that for a fact that this meditation has been my mainstay during those times of pain and and that's because I can rely on it and and I can actually rely on it so that if I lie down and I do this, it actually alleviates the pain and sometimes takes it away completely. And, and maybe that's because I've been doing it for over 20 years that it's that effective for me. But I can honestly say that without this particular tool in my tool bag, I, I don't know what I would have done. I'd, I know I'd be probably taking um, huge amounts of medications, you know, as I've needed them, because I haven't, this has actually provided me with an alternative, or at least something that means that I can take less medication. So I wanted to, um, to uh, encourage you to do this one lying down if you'd like to, because that's the way I usually do it. Um, and if you'd like to stay sitting up, that's fine. Um, and just make sure that you're feeling like you can uh, really let go in the posture that you're in. Um, take, take a few moments to settle into your position. And if you need to take some time to adjust your body, just make sure that your back is as upright as possible if you're sitting. In other words, you're not slouching to one side. And that your feet are flat on the floor and a little bit apart. And if you're lying down, see if you can lie in a way that your spine is relatively straight as is natural to its curve. And that your hands are resting in a symmetrical way, either on your tummy or by your sides. And feel the support from either the back of the chair or what you're lying on. Hands resting on the thighs or simply cupped in the lap. Just notice what works best for you. And then when you're ready, you might like to join me for a few moments and let your eyes close gently. might help you to take a deeper breath or two. And remember that this is a time for regaining balance, for experiencing deep, natural peace. So just remind yourself of why you're doing this exercise. And then let go of any thinking about it anymore. And striving to make anything in particular happen. And let, let's remain alert and do this in a relaxed way. Let's be curious and observe what happens. Starting with the sensations in your body. Begin by moving your attention down to the feet. Really concentrate on your feet. 
Perhaps move them a little. Really feel like what they're like at the moment. Just as they are. Now contract the feet, curl the toes over, perhaps move them a little, really feel what they're like at the moment. Contracting the muscles of the feet, feeling the tension and letting them go. Feel the muscles relaxing. Releasing. Feel the muscles becoming soft and loose. Feeling it deeply. Completely. More and more. Letting go. Then bringing your attention up to the calves. It's as if we move our attention through the calves with a gentle curiosity. Feeling any sensations. No judgment, no commentary. Just a simple curiosity to notice how the calves are feeling in this particular moment. So even if there's some area of soreness, even pain, we aim to simply notice that. We aim to let go of any other thoughts, judgment or commentary. We aim to just simply notice whatever sensations are in the calves right now. Simple awareness. Awareness of the feelings in the calves, just as they are. And as we move our attention through the calves, maybe we notice some parts do feel different to others. Maybe we notice the sensation of fabric on our skin or the feeling of the air moving across the skin. With our gentle curiosity, simply noticing. And now we contract the muscles of the calves, pushing the toe down, letting the heels come up contracting the muscles of the calves, tightening them up, and then letting them go. Feeling any tension dissolving and relaxing. Releasing. The muscles becoming soft and loose. Feeling it deeply. Completely.
a natural feeling. Feel the letting go. The thighs, again, now take time to feel the sensations in the thighs. Noticing any differences in those sensations. Aware of the sensations in the thighs. And now contracting the muscles of the thighs, tightening them up and letting them go. Feeling it all through. All through the thighs, the calves, the feet. Warm and heavy. Soft and loose. Soft and loose. More and more. Deeper and deeper. Just simply letting go. Now the buttocks. Contracting the muscles and letting them tighten up. And then letting them go. And feeling it all through the buttocks, the hips, the pelvis and the genital area. All through relaxing. Releasing. Sometimes it helps to imagine there's been like a belt or a band around the hips and it's just being loosened a little. Relaxing. Releasing. Just simply letting go. The tummy, feeling in the tummy, any sensations? Now contracting the muscles, the front of the tummy and the lower back, tight, and then letting them go. and feeling it deeply all through the tummy. Calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. Deeply. Completely.
feeling it all through. Letting go. The chest, now feeling the chest, any sensations we notice. Contracting the muscles, tight like a barrel, and then letting them go. And feeling it all through. Feeling it through the front of the chest, around the side of the ribs, the breasts, calm and relaxed. Feeling it all through. And feeling it through the upper back and all through the chest. It's a natural feeling. Feel the letting go. Now the arms, feel how the arms are, perhaps the points of contact with where they're resting, with the clothing, whatever sensations we notice in the arms. Contracting the muscles of the arms and letting them go. And feeling it like a wave of relaxation flowing down through the arms, the upper arms, relaxing, releasing, down around the elbows and into the forearms, the muscles softening and loosening. And feeling it in the wrists, the hands and the fingers. Soft and loose. All through. Sometimes you might notice like a warmth or a tingling flowing down into the hands. Maybe a feeling of lightness. Whatever's there, just simply noticing the sensation and just going with it. Going with it. Relaxing. Releasing. Letting go. Letting go. Now the shoulders, feeling the shoulders. 
and contracting the muscles, lifting the shoulders up a little and the chin down, and then letting them go. Feeling it deeply, completely. Shoulders relaxed. And feeling it up through the throat and the neck, the muscles soft and loose. Soft and loose. Just simply letting go. Now the jaw. Notice how you're holding your jaw. Sensation, now contracting the muscles, clenching the teeth, and then letting it go. Feeling the jaw drop a little, loose. Soft and loose. Like the tongue, soft and loose. It's a natural feeling. Feeling it deeply. Completely feel the letting go. And feel it up over the nose and through the cheeks. Calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. Feeling the ease of it all. The natural ease of it all. Now the eyes, feeling the eyes and contracting the muscles, closing the eyes firmly and then letting them go. And feeling it all through the eyes. Relaxing. Releasing. Almost as if the eyes are floating in their sockets. Feeling it deeply. Completely. All through the eyes. Letting go. And the temples, soft and loose. And feeling it around the ears the back of the head, up over the top of the head, calm.
calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. Just going with it. Going with it. Now the forehead. Feeling the forehead. Contracting the muscles, frowning a little and letting them go. And feeling the forehead smoothing out. And feeling it all through, all through the head and through the body. And the mind. Feeling the ease of it all, the ease of it all. Just simply letting go. All through. Calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. Going with it. Going with it. Quite effortlessly, effortlessly. And now it might help to take your attention to that point between the eyes a little into the forehead. And notice there what is like a still quiet center, a point of stillness. Maybe you notice it more particularly in the space behind the closed eyelids. So just holding your attention now lightly on this point of stillness. And it's almost as if you can merge into this stillness. Relaxing. Releasing. Merging. Dissolving. Maybe even a sense of expanding into the stillness, just simply letting go. Quite effortlessly. Effortlessly. Letting go. Letting go. Now resting in this stillness for a few moments. And if at any stage you do notice your mind wandering or becoming distracted, as soon as you do notice that, just gently and kindly bring your attention back to that point of stillness. Relaxing. Releasing. Merging. Melting. Dissolving. 
simply resting in that stillness for a few moments, quite effortlessly, effortlessly. Letting go. Letting go. That's good, good, good. And when you're ready now, just letting the eyes gently open once again. Well, some of you might like to drift off to bed now, not particularly have any talk, and that's fine. And others but may choose just to stay the, for a moment. Yeah, I might, sorry, Ruth. <laughs> I just encourage people that this is one of the practices that I think really um, highly suited for actually using the app to guide you through. Uh, it's it's also one of the exercises, as you probably know, that we use uh, to help with sleep. Uh, mm. And if you get really relaxed, it's pretty easy to drift off to sleep or just go into a bit of a limbo, really. Uh, and so having uh, somebody, Ruth or myself, actually guiding you through the exercise helps to keep your attention. Uh, and the other thing to encourage you to do is to actually, when you're doing it yourself, to actually do the exercise of contracting and relaxing the muscles. Uh, you can certainly learn to relax more quickly in other ways, uh, but this is a very methodical way of relaxing the body reliably and actually getting this benefit that we're talking about through the mind-body connection. Uh, when, when you do it thoroughly, it's it's very reliable. So, yeah, thanks, Ruth. That was a really lovely exercise. And um, thank you, everybody. Nice to see you again. Have a thank good you. evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. And um, reminded next week we do the healing meditation again. So it's really nice to have a good body of people who feel like they're um, wanting to contribute this healing energy and then uh, there's always a good group of people who'd like to receive and it seems to work out very nicely each um, Monday, the first Monday of the month when we do this, it seems to um, be really nicely received. So <clears throat> look forward to seeing you next week.